Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NASCAR driver lost sponsorship because his father used an word before he was even born. I have never used the N word, not before it was taboo and certainly not after it was. Having said that, I am a huge supporter of the First Amendment and I do not believe in censoring free speech. A private entity can do that if they wish, but you still have the right to say what you want. You also have the right to face the consequences for saying it. But you should never have to pay the consequences of someone else saying things that others find offensive, even if it is a family member. NASCAR Xfinity driver Connor Daly is living a nightmare right now. He lost one of his sponsors because his father uttered a racial slur back in the 1980s. Connor wasn't even born yet, so why should he be punished? Even if he was born, he was not the transgressor here, his father was. Connor's father Derek Daly was a race car driver in the 80s but that still does not call for the son paying for the so-called sins of the father. Lily Diabetes issued a statement on Friday stating that they were pulling their sponsorship of Connor's number 6 car in the NASCAR Xfinity race at Road America, citing the racially insensitive remark made by his father Derek Daly that surfaced this week. He used the N-word decades ago and now his son is being punished for it. That's outrageously absurd and Orwellian in the extreme. The company said in a statement that its sponsorship was intended to raise awareness for treatment options and resources for people living with diabetes. What does that have to do with Connor's father or what he said all those years ago? Unfortunately, the comments that surfaced this week by Derek Daly distract from this focus, so we have made the decision that Lily Diabetes will no longer run the number 6 at Road America this weekend, Lily said. That is ridiculous and Lily deserves to be shunned for this. This is political correctness gone mad. Connor who is an Indy car driver, made his NASCAR debut at the rural Wisconsin road course with Roush Fenway Racing. The last, 24 hours, have been quite an unnecessarily difficult ride for my family. There is a lot I want to say. But I'm still here and still racing, Connor wrote on Twitter Friday night. Good for him. At least he's not letting the PC bullies deter him from racing. Connor suddenly found himself the center of controversy this week when his father Derek and Indianapolis Colts radio voice Bob Lamy both admitted to using the N-word. He was forced into a crap storm over it. Daly Sr., who is a former Indy 500 and Formula One driver, was fired from his job as a Wish TV racing analyst this week following the news that he had used the N-word in an interview 30 years ago. That's just nuts. Now no one is ever forgiven for saying something stupid. Perhaps that should be applied to those that use derogatory terms against other races as well if you get my drift. All of this should just stop. Lamy suddenly retired when his comments were made public. I'm not sure I blame him on that count. I'd be done with it too given the PC lynch mob mentality out there currently. Daly Sr. admitted to the slur during an interview. He had just moved to the US at the time and said the term had a different meaning and connotation in his native Ireland. Which it did and that means this should not be happening even more so. Derek said he was mortified when he learned how the term was used in America and has never used it since then. But that wasn't good enough for the PC police. Not even close. They wanted his scalp and got it. Connor is now 26 years old and of course, was not even born when the comment was made by his father. Finally, I want everyone to know I deeply regret and sincerely apologize for what I said more than three decades ago, Daly Sr. said in his statement. Lily Diabetes is still sponsoring the RFR owned cars of drivers Tim Ieski and Ryan Reed at Road America. We remain committed to our mission of supporting people with diabetes, Lily said. Yep, but you are bullies. Lily wanted publicity and this is how they got it. It's shameful. Connor thanked Roush Fenway and his Twitter followers for their support in the wake of the controversy. He also thanked his former sponsor. Lily Diabetes has been a big part of my career and I'm very thankful, Connor wrote. That was kind and diplomatic of him but Lily did not deserve that courtesy in my opinion. If there were real justice here, all drivers would refuse sponsorship from Lily over this. Is this where we are now? That you can dig into someone's family history and the current generation has to pay for the sins of those that went before them? Well then. We are all damned. Congratulations. Instead of living in a bully-free society, we now I live in a society of nothing but bullies. Censorship is everywhere you go now and free speech is dying a gruesome death. This isn't the America I grew up in, know or love. I don't recognize her anymore and that is just sad beyond measure. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.